All right, hello everyone. I hope you each had a great weekend. The weather was amazing, so that's why this memo was a little bit late. We were busy all day, and the girls love being outside today. I hope you guys were able to get out and enjoy some of it too. The next couple days are supposed to be cooler, but hopefully we'll get some warmer temps more regularly. This week, we take some time to appreciate our teachers and our awesome staff and everything that you guys do for our school. We have the best team, and I'm so lucky to work with you guys, and I know that our students and families are blessed to have each of you too. So thank you for all that you do. Um, I'm so proud to um, have each of us on our team working together and working hard. So I hope you uh, have a great week, and here's a pretty quick demo for you. Um, same info for technology loaning. Just please make sure that you don't take devices and hand them out to students. That needs to go through Tracy, and she documents who has what device. So please, um, let's do that the right way through Tracy. Um, some things that I learned about this week, I did a really awesome webinar uh, with Leslie Fisher. And if you haven't seen Leslie Fisher, she is like the technology gadget guru. She knows all there is to know about technology, and she's awesome to listen to. Um, you can see her um, presentation that I watched Friday night with Fiona. You can click on it here, and it actually will bring you to her website, and you can watch it on demand, and um, you're going to be blown away. There's some mind-blowing things on there. Um, it started at 7 p.m., and I think we didn't get done until, what, Fiona, 9 or 9.30, so it was amazing. Um, one of the coolest things that she showed us is this thing called Immersive Reader. Um, and if you go to this link, this will show you the Chrome extension to get. And when you get this Chrome extension, Immersive Reader on Websites, it's going to be this icon up here in the corner. And the coolest thing about Immersive Reader, I just think for our students, is you can come to any website now in Chrome. So this would be a Google Doc. Um, directions on an assignment. It could be your Google Classroom page, anything. And if you highlight some text and then right click, because I've downloaded Immersive Reader, it says now help me read this. So if I click help me read this, it's going to bring it into a new page and then I'm going to click play and it reads it to me. Isn't that crazy? So the other thing it can do, like it can change the color of the font, it can change the background, um, it can change the size, it can, um, it can do things like, I don't know, she's crazy. You could turn on syllables, you could turn on, make the nouns purple, make the verbs red, make adjectives green, make adverbs orange, like it does insane things. Um, you can have a line to underline which text is reading. You can even have it read in a different language. So that's super cool too. But these are all the different things that Immersive Reader does. It's a quick little Google Chrome extension and it's amazing. So that's probably one of my favorite things that she showed us. And I just think that it could be super cool for um, kids who are struggling readers. The other cool thing that I learned about in a Google Classroom um, session was something called um, Emojipedia. In Emojipedia, if you open up that site, it's pretty fun, it's got like all the emojis ever. So you go here, and what she said she does with hers is like in her classwork stream, she'll put different emojis in the title so that they're all like, Let's say you had all your ELA or your writing pieces were a writing emoji. All your science pieces were a science emoji. All your math pieces were a math emoji. And so what she does, if you go to edit your classroom topic, you can go to Emojipedia, search what you want. And I think for that one I did reading because I figured um, literacy is reading. And then I picked this, whatever one I wanted. And then if you scroll down, there's a copy. And so you're going to copy that emoji. And then you can come back to your classroom. And I'm going to paste it at the beginning. And I'm, you can paste it in your classroom. And then when I click Save, oops, I want to put a space there because I'm a mess. When I click Save, 
now when you see that assignment, it's got two red books on it telling you it's for literacy. Um, if we, if I want to do another one, let's say a flag, which type of flag do you prefer? So I'll come back to Emojipedia and I'm going to type USA flag. And so I can come in here and here is a flag. I want to grab this Google flag. Okay, so then I can grab one of these flags. Oh, well, there it is. Um, I don't know how to copy that one. Maybe a flag was a bad example. Um, I don't know why a flag isn't showing up. Let me just say flag. So I'm just going to pick one of these that are up here because it's easier, but you kind of get the idea. So you copy the link, the code, and then if I come here, I could put it on this. And then when I save it, you would see that this one was about a flag. So kind of a neat idea, um, might be able to help you kind of um, organize your Google Classroom and make it easier for your kids to see stuff. <clears throat> Let me go back to our memo. All right, next thing um, is preschool and kindergarten roundup. So please make sure that you share the link when it gets posted on Facebook, which I'm thinking will be tomorrow. I just have a couple more things to work out. Um, and every student who turns in an enrollment packet for kindergarten and tiny tiger preschool will get a t-shirt and a tablet. So spread the word. Uh, learning packets and student items, please make sure that um, we are getting those packets ready by Monday at noon so that I can have them sorted for the bus run Tuesday morning. Please check out the spreadsheet to sign up to help. We could use some more helpers both Monday and Tuesday if you're available. Some grants to apply for. Our staff meeting is gonna be on Thursday. Stay tuned. Um, we have the election results coming in Tuesday, so hopefully uh, we'll have lots of good news to talk about Thursday. And thanks everyone who has given me your thoughts on Essential 4. If you didn't get to that yet, please do. All right. I hope everyone has a great week.